Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For today we're going to be doing a look using affordable products. So I'm going to be using 90% or more of all e.l.f. products. I have almost everything in e.l.f. because I've been wanting to do this for so long. So I'm so happy to finally do that. I'm also going to incorporate this into my series that I started. Um, which is the beginner essentials and this is going to be about blending shadows so this is going to be a soft glam look using mostly elf products and if not elf affordable so i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you are interested in seeing this please continue to watch don't forget to like and comment below and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed subscribe subscribe hey Hey, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to my channel already. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye. All right, beauties, let's get started on this look. Look, let's get started on this look. Let's get started. I'm so, so excited about this review. I have had these products forever and I just never was able to get to it. So we are about to get to it today, right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is start off using trying to think I'm going to start off with the face so first thing we're going to do is go in with our moisturizer and I have a matte oil control lotion that is from elf so this is what it looks like it has a little pump and this is what we're going to be using go ahead and now this is supposed to be mattifying which is great because I have very oily skin and so far it just feels very, very moisturizing. My face feels very moisturized. It has a little bit of a grip on it, which I think is the mattifying. So it moisturizes and goes into your skin. And then like when you like go like this, you can feel a little bit of a pull. So that's the part that's mattifying, I'm sure. It says this whipped clay infused lotion. Oh, it has clay in it. Clay infused lotion absorbs all oil on contact and helps provide a long lasting matte finish with kaolin clay and tea tree. This lightweight formula provides just the right amount of hydration and oil control. Perfect. Sounds perfect for my skin. It does have a little bit of a stickiness, which I'm loving. And it says just put a dime size amount and smooth into the skin. So I can tell you it does feel a little tacky, and but it does feel very moisturized. So I'm really happy with that. Next, we're going to go ahead and prime our skin. And I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Putty Primer. You guys already know, this is one of my staples. I love the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I think it is one of the best primers on the market for oily skin. Actually, before we put the primer, I wanted to try this Hydrating Coconut Mist. It hydrates skin, refreshes makeup with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. Light mist, this lightweight mist hydrates the skin and refreshes makeup with an invigorating coconut scent. Perfect to start or end the day, even midday refresher. So we're going to try that now before we add the primer. And this is what it looks like. Mm, you do smell the coconut. It smells really good. I don't like the taste of coconut, but the smell is, is good. That feel, it feels really good too. I'm letting it seep into the skin. So here's the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Let's just fan this in first. I don't want that to have any effect on the primer. I think my skin looks really good right now, right? Nice and luminous. So you can see how much of this I've used. I actually have two extra already on deck from when I run it out because we can't have that, honey. We cannot have that. Gonna that in. The putty primer is like a moisturizer, but it gets a little grippy. It's really, really nice. With oily skin, although it is oily, like it's producing too much oil, it still needs a good balance of moisture. And that is really the hard part about having oily skin is you don't want to over moisturize or under moisturize. You have to find that balance. And I find these products have that. And it's very, very, it has a nice, if you can see that, hear that, or see that it has a stickiness to it that's going to help your makeup last all day. 
I feel like it's even a little bit more sticky than normal. So I think that this lotion actually is helping with that. So I think that if you have oily skin, you should try that combo. But let's see once we apply the foundation because I haven't even applied the foundation yet. So the next thing we're going to be going in with is our foundation. The foundation color I have is Suede. And this says it is a medium tan with golden undertones. It says oil-free satin finish. Apply a small amount starting at the center of the face and blend outwards using fingertips, a sponge, or a foundation brush. Layer as needed. So we're going to do that. This is how the color looks on my hand. Let's see how it looks on my face. I am very curious. So I should start at the middle of the face and blend out. And I put a one and a half pumps to start. Very fragrancy, but it smells good. It's like a kind of like a powdery smell. So I'm feeling like I need one more pump. Cover I think is a pretty good match. My chest. Alright y'all. So this is looking pretty good. What do you guys think? Chest match. It's like a little bit more golden but for me I'm red and gold so it's hard for me to find a good undertone so I think this looks good compared to my chest here see I'm like different tones here 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 that's my chest color here so yeah I'm feeling good about that now we have the concealers in the flawless concealer collection and I'm gonna be using tan sand to highlight and rich chocolate to contour this is how they look and i've used these before and i really do like these they are really really good good coverage and nice and smooth so i do recommend these if you have not tried them When you put that camel concealer on, honey, it is not budging. You have to blend that one in really, really fast. We are highlighted and contoured. Now let's blend this in. I don't think I have my e.l.f. mascara because I did this big e.l.f. order and it got lost supposedly but I think my apartment people stole it in my when I was in Georgia and um, they were out of stock on a lot of the items that I was trying to order after that I don't want to check the shoe and see I could be wrong and you see how that just blended in so nicely I really really love those Don't sleep on Elf, y'all. Do not. My face is looking so good right now. And I was really nice because I feel this tackiness as I'm blending this in. So it's like gripping my face. So it's going to stay really nicely. Look at how good this looks, you guys. Oof. It looks so good. Okay, Elf. Come through. This looks so good. Not even exaggerating. Tell me that blend does not look beautiful. Oof. This looks good, you guys. I'm really, really feeling confident about this. This is like bomb 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 so now we need to set i have the beauty shield antioxidant armored setting powder here and for bronzer i have the 
e.l.f. bronzer in deep. So let's go ahead and see what this setting powder is hitting for. Because so far, the foundation, highlight, and contour look amazing. Like, for real. I'm impressed. I did not expect it to look this good. Even though I know e.l.f. is good, I don't know what I was expecting. But this is like bomb. It looks so good. I love the luminosity. Ugh. Look at that color match. On point. There we go. Elf is coming through, honey. This setting powder looks amazing. Wow. Look at how good that looks. Like, like for real? Listen. Do not sleep on elf don't do it because i'm over here feeling like a fool i've been waiting to use these products for this uh review not realizing i was sitting on gold honey this looks good and i like the powder because it's not a translucent translucent like super white it has like a little bit of a yellow tint to it you can see that and that is complimenting my skin so well it looks so good. Wow, Elf. Wow. Oh, this looks amazing. Just like instantly mattified and it just looks good. It just like blends right into the skin. Seamlessly. Listen to me, y'all. Uh, that's Elf. <laughs> Elf, this is amazing. I am like a dodo. I really been sleeping. I'm awake now. Listen, I better stop spending all this money and come come through Elf. Okay. Now let's do this bronzer. I'm like hype right now. This looks good. Tell me this only good. This looks good. Oh my gosh. Now, me looking at this, I could have gone lighter with the bronzer. You know, y'all be thinking I'm darker than I am. I got this deep bronzer. It is very nice. It's blending very nicely. It is a little dark, though. I can't even lie. but it blends like a dream. Like it's just blending right in. That looks so good, y'all. <laughs> this looks so good, you guys. I am draw job like that's how I feel right now that's exactly how I feel right now this looks so freaking good so good like this is about to be my new everyday products this looks so good I'm shocked not yet. I don't know why I'm shocked. I've always loved Elf. That's why I got all these products. Because I knew Elf was bomb. But man. This looks freaking amazing. My face right now. Oh my goodness. I feel like it hasn't looked this good in a while. This is so bomb. Mm. Are you guys getting this? so beautiful i feel like the colors are just like perfect for my complexion like perfect and the powder just blends right in i don't even know i'm trying to put like a little bit of a barrier there yeah there we go for my um shadows but it just blends so beautifully into the skin it's milled really 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 fine so it's even hard to just have that Powder just like this you got to put a lot because it just wants to blend right in it looks so beautiful 
just bomb. Okay. I'm gonna let this sit here because that's my smile lines and we're gonna go under the eyes because we're about to start the eye look. But these products so far are like A1. Like I'm not even exaggerating. These products are so good, so good. So now we're gonna go ahead and prime our eyes. I'm gonna go in with this concealer. All right, so now we're gonna do the brows. So this is the e.l.f. brow pencil, it's called Instant Lift Brow, and this is in the color Deep Brown. This is what we're gonna be using for the brows. And it has a spoolie on one end, and it has this crayon on the other. Now we're about to snatch these brows. I've already used this, and this actually I really, really like. So you see I have the very sparse brows, I'm just gonna Go in and make hair like strokes. Brows are snatched. Uh, 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 I look so freaking good. Elf. All right. Time to start blending in our shadows. I have this matte eyeshadow palette from Elf, and it's called Flawless Matte Eyeshadow. And we're doing some soft glam today. So obviously, we're not using this. I can go. Okay. So what we're going to do is start off with this light color here as a transitional shade. So my kids are walking around here sick. And we're going to blend that right above the crease. Up from right here into my brow. And then blend it over. So you want to use transitional shade before you go into all the colors to make sure that there's something there to help buffer and blend everything in together and there's a color usually that's kind of translucent or that you can't really see that's going to help you do that so that's what we've just done there now we're going to go into a deeper color from this palette i'm going to go into this plummy color using the same blending brush and i'm going to concentrate that on the outer v tapping it then blend it in once most of the product has been tapped out, onto the outer V, and I'm blending that right into the crease. So tap, 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 blend in a circle, and then start blending into the crease. Let's do that again. Tap, 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 and blend it in to the crease. And the shadows are blending very nicely together. Now that right there could just be a look right there. We could just continue on, put lashes on, and bam, there's your soft glam look. Now I want to try these other things that I got from e.l.f. For the lid, I got this pop of glitter. And I don't know how it shows up. It's very, very, uh, what's the word? Liquidy. The one I'm using is called Golden Glitz, right here. So let's add that pop of glitter, y'all. Comes out like this, like a lip gloss. And I'm gonna just... Smear right here. And then I'll use my finger to blend it out. Yeah, so it feels very, very wet. So now I'm going to blend this out. Alright, so my verdict on those is they are not my favorite. It's too wet and I feel like once you tap it in you lose the pigmentation. So I'm not really feeling that. 
No, no, no. But that's okay. Because we're going to keep it pushing. And it's also burning my lid a little. And what we're going to do is go into, I have a highlighter palette. We're going to go into one of the highlights and add that on top. So this is the Glow Beam Gleam palette. And I'm going to add that on top of this liquidy base. Look at that. That glitter just disappeared into nothing. I don't know about that product. Everything else has been bomb now. So we're going to go into this color here. This, this is beautiful. This color, I don't know if you can see, it's like white, but it has flecks of gold in it. And we'll put that over. Let me go with my finger. Yeah, that's better. Just because it's highlight doesn't mean you can't use it for shadow. Cause look at that. That is pretty. I love that. Much, much better. Bring that up. I'm going to blend this here. Love it, love it, love it, love, love it. Now I'm using this e.l.f. Lock and Seal in Espresso. And this is supposed to be able to be used on brows, eyeliner, whatever you want to use it as, you can use it as. And we're going to use it today as a liner. So now I'm going to wing that. All right, we'll clean that up a little and then I'm gonna add some of this into my waterline. All right, y'all. Now let me go into this powder and set this little area here. Go Elf, go Elf. Go elf. All right, let me calm down. Set that right there. All right, beauty. So this is what we're looking like so far. I think this looks so, so beautiful. What do you guys think? I think it looks bomb. We need to do our under eye, so I'm going back in to the same lid color we use, this plum color. I'm putting that underneath the eye. Alright, then I'm going to go back in with that transitional color and put that right underneath and just blend that out. Alright, bomb. Okay, so now we get into the products that I don't have that are e.l.f which is just the mascara and lashes, but everything else is e.l.f. So for the mascara, I'm gonna go in with Thrive Mascara from Thrive Cosmetics, and I got this in an Ipsy bag. But they are still affordable, okay? Neck mascara is really nice. Next, we're gonna be putting on some lashes. Um, I get my lashes from Celeste Los Angeles. I get lashes from AliExpress sometimes too because I'm cheap. But um, these, this book is like 50 bucks and you have all these pairs. So I would consider that affordable. But I know e.l.f. has lashes too. It's just like I told you guys, the whole thing going on with that when they stole my package. They stole it, okay? So I'm going to go into something soft that's going to princess. This is the lash we're going to do for this look. And I'm going to put the glue on that lash and let it sit while we do the rest of the face. I'm going to go into this palette again. And we're going to go into this color right next to the color we used before. 
and just pop that into the inner corner. Mm -hmm. That looks beautiful. For whatever is left, I'm going to use as the brow highlight without adding anything additional because I don't want it to be beaming. Just a little something there to transition that color. We're blending this powder away. Alright y'all, my skin looks amazing to me. I am just so floored. Now we're going to go ahead and add some blush. For blush, we're going into this primer infused blush from e.l.f. called Always Rosy. And look at that. Beautiful. I really love this blush. This is actually in my everyday drawer. But like I told y'all, all of this is about to go into my everyday drawer because I look bomb. Okay, Elf? You did that. You did that. Now we're going to go into this highlight palette and we're highlighting our lives. Highlight your life. And here we go. See, it works. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. So I'm going to go in with this color right here. This middle color and blend that. It's beautiful and subtle. I'm gonna go into this top one right above it to add a little, that's, oh, okay. So the bottom ones are like the subtle ones and then this one right here at the top, those are the ones that shine, honey. Yes. I'm going to blend that out with a big fluffy brush, making sure. But first, actually it's time to start with the lashes. Because honey, you don't want those to dry out. So let's put those on. Mm-hmm. Yes, lash. In the front of that lash is starting to, it already started to dry. So I'm gonna add a little bit more glue as we continue with the rest of the look. Okay. We'll just let that sit for about 30 seconds. This locket liner, and I'm gonna use this actually as a lip liner. I know I look crazy. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. So I'm going to go in now with this Touch of Nude Lipstick from e.l.f. Looks like this. Okay. This turned out way too dark. So this is a no for me. Okay. Ignore that, Josh. Ignore all that just happened. We're going to go in with this nude lipstick now by itself without that dark liner. And this is called Natural from e.l.f. It has a very, very weird smell and taste but it's pretty all right i'm loving this natural glam this is so cute i'm loving this soft glam i think it looks so so beautiful we're good. Everything is good. But I'm about to get this hair popping, so I'll be back. All 
Alright beauty, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I love this glam. This is my natural soft glam and I think it is so, so, so beautiful. I'm here for it. The eyes are like nice and soft and sultry. The lips are this beautiful nude color. My skin looks absolutely amazing. I feel like if anybody sees my skin, they would automatically assume that I'm using high-end products because my skin looks amazing. I, I I have to give them props where props is due. It's nice and mattified with a nice luminous finish to it. And the, the makeup feels very locked in. It doesn't feel like it's going to move at all. I'm so here for this, y'all. Soft Glam featuring e.l.f. E.l.f. y'all came through. If you do not have e.l.f. products, I promise you, you will not be mad if you get these products. These products are amazing. My skin looks amazing. This makeup looks amazing. <laughs> and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. And if you like them or don't like them, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed. And subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hey. Hey, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for watching my content. Um, I really appreciate you guys so much. I started this video with a headache. I don't have it anymore. I really feel like when I do my makeup, it just eases me. Whatever I'm stressing about goes away. And I just feel so much better because of you guys. So thank you so much. And don't forget to be your own kind of beautiful because there's only one you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.